Hello, my name is Teregasini and today I'm going to show you how to use and configure Clanvin free antivirus. I'm gonna make a complete review on it, I will explain its functions and uh, I will also show you where to download it and how to install it. You can download it from here, this is the latest version and uh, FileHippo is a great site. Here you can get offline updates for Clanvin. Offline updates are used when there is no uh, working internet connection on the present computer and you can't download them. Uh, it is used on infected machines and uh, you need them because uh, Clanvin without updates is useless. Here you can get portable version of Clanvin. Portable means that it requires no installation and can be run from any computer without leaving any traces behind because you can uh, simply delete the original file. Let's install it. Follow the basic procedure. You can download updates now or later, up to you, I selected now. Downloading updates now. And uh, that's it. This is the main window of Clanvin, which will appear if you double click on the icon. If you want to select more drives, just press and hold control button, then uh, click other drives. Like this. This is used when scanning. This button is for preferences, this one is for updates. This one is for scanning memory resident aka present viruses. And uh, this one is for scanning all files and folders or um, just uh, on demand. At infected files use that option because uh, reporting will do nothing and removing will immediately delete the virus. But if, s if you select that option you have the time to check if it's really a virus or just uh, a mistake. Here you can see or add files and folders that will be included or excluded in the scanning. This window is for excluded. Uh, those uh, file types are harmless, I checked, but you can uh, remove them if you want. To add a new one, click there. Let's use this as an example. Ok, so now uh, these file types will no longer be scanned. And uh, here you can select what to be scanned. Only this and uh, no other file types. Uh, for example this one. And uh, to delete it, uh, sel um, highlight it and click red X. Now I'm going to show you something. Let's wait a little. As you can see the scan started with documents and settings. And, and this is how you exclude a folder. Just copy paste it and add a little star on the end. Let's try scanning again to see if I am correct. And uh, as you can see, documents and settings uh, was not included in the scan.
those are options for updates you can select the frequency and time as you like also make sure this option is enabled uh, that means that as soon as your computer starts uh, clamvin will download updates and uh, that's good you have nothing to do here so let's skip this one and he here you can uh, schedule scan uh, again you can select uh, frequency and uh, time but now you have to uh, select uh, which folder or hard drive you want uh, to be scanned uh, let's say windows and uh, now you can uh, name this uh, scan and uh, that's it you can add more if you want scanner priority if you leave it as slow CPU power will split among Clamvin and other applications but uh, if you change it to normal uh, Clamvin will take entire CPU power for itself for the scanning I suggest uh, to leave it uh, as slow but uh, as you want with normal scanning is faster now disable this option because uh, it's completely useless and uh, not needed at all uh, don't touch this those are the maximum numbers it doesn't go higher than this I tried so just use the following numbers for yourself to reach maximum efficiency this option is useless I don't use it and I don't see why you should uh, when it's done uh, don't forget to click OK because otherwise changes won't be accepted now I'm gonna show you the reports you can see it here it's important to see that uh, updates has been su successfully completed and uh, that you have the latest versions up to date versions now let's check scan report and uh, as you can see uh, it will show you infected files and uh, data scanned uh, time spent for the scan and so on this will tell you about the makers of Clamvin and uh, I just want to say don't underestimate Clamvin because it's protecting you from over 600,000 viruses which isn't bad for a freeware antivirus now let's check help and uh, don't think you're too good for the help because this is what help is for and uh, I'm showing you how to perform a virus scan from the CMD uh, I suggest you to explore help files because uh, they can help you a lot and uh, answer on your questions and uh, that's pretty much it if you right click on the try icon this is what you will see a quick menu but uh, really nothing what you couldn't set in the preferences from the main window but uh, you can use it uh, if you want if you want to scan a file just right click on it and uh, select this option I think that's pretty much it because uh, I showed you how to scan, I showed you preferences and uh, I showed you how to configure it for best performance, I showed you where to download it and uh, where to download offline updates as well as a portable version of Clamvin, I showed you how to scan and uh, I also explained the buttons from the main menu and the tray icon if there is any questions uh, I will be happy to answer and uh, don't forget to check my website for some other tutorials as well